Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. I'm a big fan of bait casting reels and I find myself using low profile reels quite a lot. But you know, nothing really beats the beauty and the feeling of solid craftsmanship you get from a classic round bait caster. And the Shimano Calcutta is one of my absolute favorite reels. If you chase pike, musky, large bass, trout, salmon, catfish or just about any powerful saltwater predator, this reel is worth considering. To ensure smooth performance though, you need to know how to adjust the casting brakes. So let's get to it. Remove the three screws holding the side plate in place. The side plate at the handle side can then be removed. The side plate and the screws will come off completely at this time, so be careful not to drop them. Do not point the opening downward while the side plate is removed. Otherwise the spool may fall out. Take out the spool. VPS adjustment can be carried out at this time. This reel has six brake weights. Right out of the box Three of these are engaged. This is a good versatile setting for most fishing situations. If however you want to cast lightweight lures or cast into a strong wind, you might want to engage four, five or all six weights. To turn a weight on, simply push it out toward the outer spool edge, past the inner retaining clip. To turn a weight off, push the weight inward past the clip. Replace the spool. Attach the side plate. Put the screws back, don't tighten any of them before all three are in place. The rest of the adjustments are done on the water. On the handle side of the reel you find the cast control knob. That is used to add the proper amount of friction to the spool. Too much friction shortens the casting distance. Too little leaves our run and backlast unchecked. Turn the cast control knob clockwise to increase friction counterclockwise to decrease friction. The proper settings will vary with lure type and weight. Attach a lure to the line. Let it hang right under the rod tip. Click down the clutch bar. Here's too much friction and the lure doesn't fall. I turn the knob anti-clockwise to reduce friction. Now it's too loose. This might cause a bird's nest. More friction is added. 
This is just perfect. That's all folks. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.